morning and welcome to Conrad Cycles. Today is day three of the Tour de Machacos. The cyclists today are racing to a place called Mboni Hills and it's approximately 106 to 107 kilometers. There they go. They'll be in a neutral zone for approximately five kilometers. We are now in the competitive zone and in a few minutes we shall start to see pelotons forming up. This is the second peloton. We can see Kinja, we can see Gishora, we can see Langat and Mwangi leading this peloton. This is the third peloton as we give Kevin Lubanga support here. This is the fourth peloton. David Dada is leading the group from the Velonos team. Here comes the first peloton, closely followed by the second peloton. And it looks like they're gonna catch up with the first peloton because they are barely 20 meters away from each other. We've just witnessed this cyclist getting a tire change and now he's dragging behind the support car so that he can be able to catch up with the second peloton. Gazere who was in the first breakaway together with Samuel and Gishora has encountered an incident. So let's see what will happen from here. This is the turning point of the Mbaoni Hills and now it's a drop all the way to Masi. Here is Langat from the Kenyan Down Under team. He's sitting on the top tube of the bike. He's doing a speed of 100 kilometers per hour right now down that drop. As you can see Mwangi from the Kenyan riders down under team has overtaken Lengard and now he's leading. <laughs> Number one, Samuel Mwangi. Samuel Mwangi has won the two of the Majakos day three. There comes the number two, still from the Kenya down under team, Suleiman Kangangi. Position four and five as pretty Kenyan rider and Tim Kelsey. Uh, kitu moja secret ni najua climb vile iko na vile barabara iko. So those guys najua waki push hard itakuwa ngumu kwa ku, kurudi nzuri. So nikipata rhythm ya mind na cover na recover poa na naenda na speed yenye nataka sifuati mtu anaenda vizuri vile iko. Well, I think the guys are just stronger generally because they have had good experience now in China, Indonesia, racing in Australia. But also we've got a good team of six, uh, so we do have some numbers. Uh, some of the other teams have good numbers as well, but we're able to use the guys. Uh, Suleiman raced very, very smart yesterday. Uh, had a big problem today, snapped his saddle, I think, after a bit of a crash. Still rode very well to get second place. So, uh, yeah, look, it's good to have strength in numbers and, and especially Mwangi being very consistent and Sully's always smart and makes a difference in the end. What an amazing day it has been today. Day 3 of Tua de Machacos. Keep subscribing to Conrad Cycles for more updates of Tua de Machacos 2016.